The Bible as history. The Bible as history. By the end of the 18th century, higher criticism began to study the Bible, disregarding any supernatural elements in it, and questioning the veracity of the people in the places mentioning it. Christians remained silent, so archaeology spoke during the 19th century. Almost all the hypotheses of higher criticism were discredited by the new archaeological findings. For example, the Moabite stone is of an account of events parallel to 2 Kings chapter 3. Several biblical people and places are mentioned. I am Messiah, king of Moab. Omri was king of Israel and oppressed Moab. I took from it the vessels of Jehovah and while the house of David inhabited. The problem is story. The first kings, the Assyrian invasion, Babylon, Jesus, a reliable story. The first kings. Now the Philistines gathered their armies together to battle and were gathered at Soko, which belongs to Judah, the income between Soko and Aseka in, Eph in Ephes the Mim. Kings David and Solomon were considered mythical for some time later. The location of Ephes the Mim, Karen, Kirbet, Kiafa, Soko, Aseka, and Ella, Saul's camp was found. In Saul's time, Kirbet, Kiafa was a fortified garrison. This means that the fight between David and Goliath took place in a real place between real armies. The name of one of Saul's sons, Esbaal, was found written on a path made around 1000 BC. The house of David is mentioned in an inscription of Hazael, king of Damascus. The Assyrian invasion. Now it came to pass in the 14th year of King Hezekiah that Sennacherib, king of Assyria, came up against all the fortified cities of Judah and locked them and took them. In 701 BC, Sennacherib invaded Judah. He destroyed Lachish and besieged Jerusalem. This was proved when his palace in Nedeveh was unearthed and an account of the destruction of Lachish was found besides. The ruins of Lachish are also proof of this event. The Sennacherib's annals tell, tell how he, he couldn't conquer Jerusalem. But as for Hezekiah the Judean, I shot him in the city like a bird in a cage. Of course, they do not mention how his army was destroyed by the angel of the Lord. They also confirm the Bible's account of his death. Sennacherib was killed by two of his sons. Babylon the king spoke saying, Is not this great Babylon that I have built for a, for a royal dwelling by my mighty power and for the honor of my majesty? The Greek historian Herodotus, 5th century BC, thought that Samoramat was the queen of Babylon and that she rebuilt it and made it great. He didn't know about Nebuchadnezzar of Belshazzar. Today we know that Samoramat was the queen of Assyria. Nebuchadnezzar rebuilt Babylon and Belshazzar was quarrying with his father Nabonidus. The latter gate was the one of the gates to the inner city of Babylon. It's currently displayed in the Pergamon Museum in Germany. Objects were found in archaeological excavations in Babylon that show lions as, sim as a symbol of the city. Jesus, and when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pilate, Pontius Pilate, the governor. Higher criticism also questioned the existence of Jesus. They alleged a lack of historical record of him, of his contemporaries, Pontius Pilate, Caiaphas, etc. Later, a monument from the 1st century showing the next inscription was found. Pontius Pilate, governor of Judea. The funerary box of Caiaphas and his family has also been found. These findings corroborate the story in the Gospels and in the account of his historian Flavius Josephus. The, the story of Jesus and Christianism in the first century. For example, Tacitus and Plinius the Youngers. Again, the Bible is proven to be historically reliable. A reliable story. And what more shall say, I say for the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah and also of David and Samuel and the, and the prophets. Most of the Bible contains the account of historical events, true and reliable events, as we saw in the previous sections. 
there is archaeological evidence that support the reliability of the Bible, but they cannot be the base of our faith. The Bible is more than just history. It contains the stories of men and women of faith who believe in God and followed His instructions. Their acts of faith and trust motivates us to follow their example. The Bible can transform our lives with. There is more. In 1935, a seal belonging to Gedaliah, the son of Pashur, was found. In 1984, another seal belonging to Milkumor, servant of the Ammonite king Balis. In 1996, an amphora was found showing the inscription Regi Herodi Yudaiko to Herod, king of Judea. In 2009, a seal belonging to King Hezekiah was found in Jerusalem, although the inscription was not understood until 2015. In the same year, an engraving made with a seal that said Isaiah the prophet was found just 10, three, 10 feet, 3 meters from where Hezekiah's seal had been found. God has permitted a flood of light to be poured upon the world in, disco in discoveries, in science and art. But when professedly scientific men lecture and write upon these subjects from a merely human standpoint, they will surely come to wrong conclusions. Those who doubt the reliability of the records of the Old and New Testaments will be led to go a step further and doubt the existence of God, and then having let go of their anchor, they are left to beat abound upon the rocks of infidelity.